Welcome back, back to the call out. When, when you hear that music, that you music, know it's going to go down. down. Calling, Calling out from out wherever you are around the globe. Whether you are listening on the go or you're listening in your living room. Either way, the call out's got your back with original MMA content. It's your boy Richie back with another radio show for today. And today, Giants collide November 11th in NSG when John Jones defends his heavyweight title against former heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic. What is up, everybody? This is Richie speaking. Let's talk about this fight going down in November between Jones and Miocic. I think it's an interesting matchup, man, because John Jones, he's exceptional pretty much everywhere. He's exceptional on the stand-up, on the wrestling. But at the same time, Stipe, man, he's durable. He's got some crisp boxing. I like how he goes to the body, how he goes to the head. He's got some good power. He's got some good cardio, too. So this is a recipe for an entertaining and competitive battle. I think it's even more of a competitive fight and a fight that makes more sense than Francis Ngannou's matchup. Francis Ngannou got matched up with Tyson Fury, and that fight it's a boxing match that seems more of a money fight not very competitive more entertaining i'm not saying that Ngannou does not have a chance i'm just saying realistically it's not very competitive still entertaining just not as competitive as this matchup i like this one you know um and, and by the way i compare those guys together i compare john jones and francis Ngannou together just because we're both watching their journeys. We're watching both of their journeys and we're hoping that their paths can intersect with each other sometime in the near future. Okay. We were teased with John Jones versus Nganu and instead they both get two separate fights, two separate meanings. One is like a money fight. And then the other one is to really test the skills for the baddest man on the planet, uh, for the UFC heavyweight title. So they're going in kind of different directions. I don't know. This this is interesting, guys, because, like, what do you think? Do you think we're ever going to see John Jones versus Francis Ngannou? Is this in our future? Is this going to happen? You know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because I feel like the rate that it's going right now, I don't think it's likely. I don't think it's likely that they're going to see each other in the ring or in the cage. You know, they're, they're both on, on different paths. And we'll see what happens with Jones after the Stipe fight. With John Jones, I take what he does fight by fight because you never know what could happen. But we got Stipe fighting him right now, and that's what matters. And we're in for a treat with this one. Uh, John Jones is 6'4", and he has 84-inch reach. Stipe Miocic is also 6'4", but he's got an 80-inch reach. So John Jones is walking in with that 4-inch reach advantage. And what makes him so scary is how well he uses that advantage. So, very excited for November. I think how steep can win this fight is by implementing some leg kicks. Just a lot of leg kicks. Heavy inside, heavy outside. And try and slow Jones down. Try and take that movement away from him. And I think that'll leave some openings for Stipe to land nice body shots. Maybe uh, land, land some head shots. I think he can hurt. Jones, you know, I think he can do that standing. If it gets to the ground, I'm going to say it's Jones. I don't see Stipe holding him down. He was able to hold down Nganu, but I don't see him holding down Jones. I think this is going to be a standing battle. I don't even know if this goes all five rounds, to be honest with you, unless they kind of take their time and respect each other. I don't I don't think this goes to the distance. But nonetheless, just super excited to see another John Jones fight. It's going to be live MSG, so book your flights to New York. Get your tickets ready. We got fireworks happening November 11th, and TCOP will be covering John Jones this year. We didn't get to do it last time, but this year we will be on it. Uh, guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for listening to another radio cast. When that music pops up, that means it's my cue to get out of here. This is Richie signing off. Have a great day. Stay healthy, stay blessed, and see you soon.